St. George, Grenada. The Sendall Tunnel was built in 1894 as a passageway for horses and carriages. St. George is built on a range of hills leading to lots of steep roads. None of the traffic signals in St. George are operating. The solution, a 1 million US dollar program to employ 14 officers to control traffic rather than fixing the traffic lights. A sudden rainstorm as we travel through St. George. Views across the main marina in St. George. To Parliament Hill to view Parliament House. Just our luck, they have closed for Christmas. The island had a communist government until 1983 when there was a revolution. The Prime Minister of the day, Morris Bishop, aged 39, and some staff were rounded up and executed by firing squad. Another marina viewed from Parliament Hill. Time to chivy us back onto the bus to head to the next stop. Views over Granada on a stop on the way to Fort Frederick. Fort Frederick is one of the few forts in the world that never fired a shot in anger. The French realised that had such a fort existed when they attacked the then British occupiers of the island of Grenada, they would not have been successful. One of their first acts after defeating the British was to build the fort. It is an unusual fort in that most of its defences face inland. It is also called the backward facing fort. The port of St. George is so narrow that it is easily defended from an attack by sea. This led to the French taking the tactical decision to attack from inland, which resulted in their victory. Taking the path to another section of the fort. Sadly, it is in real need of some conservation and restoration. The building on the right with the chimney was the kitchen block in days gone by. This plant grows quite happily in the gap between two boulders. You try this at home? Don't bother, it probably won't work. Last view, coastal sweep to Parliament House. Some local houses. A minivan going nowhere. The lighthouse signal outside the airport. 
The airport was built by the Cubans during the communist period with funding provided by Russia. Quarantine point, now parkland for locals to get out in the open air. Across the bay we can see our cruise ship. The whole park has low wooden fences with warnings, do not go beyond the fence. Back in town on the return trip we passed the fire station which seems well equipped. More steep streets. It's a pity no traffic cop was on duty in the traffic control box when we travel past. No, it's not a periscope. It's an additional rear view mirror. Buildings in St. George. Downhill. By the time we got on the level near the harbour, you could smell the very hot brakes. While we went by coach, others did a catamaran cruise with beach lunch experience. The pilot is on board, his waterborne taxi stands nearby, and we push off with the bow thrusters. Farewell to St. George. We left on Christmas Eve and many shops had closed by the time we got back from our trip. As the sun sets, we turn east ready to cross the Atlantic. Next stop, Santa Cruz de Tenerife.